and welcome back to another episode. Today we have another weekly angel guidance and this is a particularly important one. Do you know why? It's because we have the new moon in Aries. So it's like we've finished off a massive chapter, we've gone through all the other 12 zodiac signs and now we're going to start right back at the beginning in Aries, which is so exciting. And then, so that's gonna be coming on the 16th of April. Then come Thursday, that's when we move into the crescent moon. This is a truly beautiful time. This is asking us to refine our intentions. So the new moons are perfect for like setting intentions of exactly what you want. But the crescent moon is like really working out how does this look? What are the steps that you need to plan in order to take when we get to the action stage of the moon? So a lot going on. By the way, if this is your first time watching, my name is Mel. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday helping you to vibrate on the frequency of love where I teach you how to learn you lo to love yourself, flaws and all, trust your intuition and manifest your heart's true desires. So today I'm gonna to start with my brand new deck. This is totally out of my comfort zone, but it feels totally fitting for this new moon time. So let's just see what comes up. Oh, by the way, this is a general reading. So just take from this what feels truly right for you. Okay angels, one card for the new moon in Aries from a beautiful MK Love Fam. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? One card. They, oh. Whoa, gosh, the energies are crazy. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two, four. I'm going to pick up the first one that I see and then I'm going to work from there. Okay, the first one that I saw is a six of swords. Can you see like all these like crows are kind of just like waiting on all of these swords here, but she's like, she's like, she can see this stuff, like it's like darkness going on beneath, but she's like, I feel like she's deflecting everything else that is going around her. It's like she's protected and she's being guided to where she needs to go. Can you see she's on like this, beautiful bird and is taking her to where she needs to go. Ooh. Okay, then the other card that came up after that, oh my gosh, is the six of pentacles. So it's feel like you're leaving like the darkness and then you move into the six of pentacles. Well, that's just like pure abundance. Oh my goodness, like he's playing, what is he playing? I don't know, some kind of instrument. And then all of this abundance is coming down and there's a little bubble plant down the bottom. So this abundance is, cre is like, a new growth. So I feel like you're releasing, you've kind of let go of what doesn't serve you and now you're kind of like starting this new chapter and this new chapter that you're starting is actually very prosperous. So this is something that could be financially abundant. Um, however that looks like for you, there's something new that you are starting because we've got this new little plant here and it's about to flourish. It's like if you pay attention and you water it, you send it love, and then you will allow it to bloom. That's actually really, really beautiful. Okay, then the other card that came out that flipped over is the Nine of Swords. And then as soon as I pulled this card, I heard that song, um, don't look back in anger, I heard you say. It's like, it's like you have the, you have, but then that's above. So is that the difference between the conscious and the unconscious mind? So is this a perception that you're perceiving that there's darkness, but really it's just in your head and it's not a part of your reality? What do you guys see as soon as you see this card here? I feel like it's like a figment of your imagination, like you're making it up. It's like you need to, I feel like you need to work a lot on your mental health. It's like you don't want to look back. But you have your sword out. It's like you're ready to fight if you need to, but it's like I don't feel like you you need to do that anymore. I had some that just felt <clears throat> interesting that it fell underneath the chair because maybe this is something that's like something that you haven't noticed before. Uh, which is this. It's the Eight of Cups. It's like you've found this one opportunity that serves your highest good and you've allowed all of this goodness behind you just to fall by the wayside because 
Those things served you at a time, but they don't serve you in your new chapter. Oh my gosh, we've got, we're moving through so many different pentacles. So there's so many different aspects to this. And that probably explains why all of these cards just fell out. Okay, let's get some more clarity. What else do we need to know for this new moon? I feel like this new chapter is amazing. I just feel like I don't want you to be focusing on where you've been. Like, just keep focusing on where you are right now because this new chapter it's fertile like i keep going back to this and seeing this little bubble plant here you need to water this new this new growth and this new chapter for you don't look back in anger this is all a figment of your imagination don't make up anything this is probably fear i see like maybe some of you feel like you're not good enough for this new chapter but just know now that you have grabbed this new chapter by the hands Take it and just and allow it to soar because you know this new chapter now serves you. I just feel this is really good. Okay, let's get another one. What else do we need to know, angels? Can we have clarity on six of swords? Ooh, six, six, six of swords, six of pentacles, nine of swords, and eight of cups. What do we need to know? One card for my MK love pen, please. Oh, damn it, I pushed it in. I've got to close my laptop, it's distracting me. One, two, three. Ooh, we have the Eight of Wands. What do you see when you see this card right here? I see a beautiful woman in her power. She has all of these, she's got the big wand in her hand, but she's got all of those, what do you call those things where you, you have it and it's like you, it's like you make a wish? What do you call this? What do you, what do you call these things here? I can't remember the name of them. I can't think of the name of it right now. Oh my goodness. And you make a wish. I feel like you have all of these. There are eight in the air, are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight of them in the air, but there's also a lot of them planted. I just feel like this is a lot of abundance that is coming around for you. You've got two foxes here, which I think are very loyal and protective. I also see two sides of the story. Maybe, can you see there's like one face there and one face there? Maybe this is about perspective as well, but I think it's not a major arcana. I just feel like she's, Speak what you want into existence. That's just what I hear. So if you can visualize it in your mind, you can manifest it into your reality. So you need to speak this man this new chapter into your reality. So you, because sometimes you, I feel like in these new chapters, some of you may be a little bit hesitant, but I feel that as you start saying like, I am where I am and it's okay, everything is working out for me. You're going to start to program your subconscious and in time you're going to start believing that you truly do deserve this new chapter i feel like this has got a lot to do with unworthiness like i don't feel like you believe that you deserve this new chapter but everything has lined up for you the angels have for some of you divinely intervened and shaken things up for you because this is the new chapter and where you need to be and you're destined for greatness don't settle with where you are you know you can manifest it. Speak what you want into existence. Ooh. All right, that's a lot to do with the new moon. Wow. All right, what else do we need to know for this week, angels? April the 16th to the 22nd. What else do we need to know? One more card for clarity, please. Oh. Oh, there it is. Okay, I found it. Whoa, okay, there's two. The Ace of Wands. See, this, they're very protective of this new beginning. Super protective, like almost fiercely protective. But as you can see, there's like there's new growth that is coming. It's like there's leaves around it on the bottom, whereas these leaves have like died off and it's old growth. There's like new growth coming out of the... Um, is it a wand? Yeah, the wand. 
and there's also mushrooms growing on here it's like there's new life coming i feel like this is well the ace is like the new chapter and then the other card that came out just then was the page of cups look how beautiful she is Ooh. the page of cups it's like she's drinking from what she had created what she's created and she's very like focused on it i also see three kind of like it's like steam it must be i would think of it like a big cup of tea and this fish around her she's in mother nature she's a mermaid oh there's lots of fish kind of swimming around but they're not really distracted by her What do you guys see with that one? I just feel like she's super content. I feel like she's really, she's been working hard on what she has achieved or what she's working, or maybe she's just super proud of where she is and she's like, you know what? I am where I am and it's okay. Maybe she's like enjoying her success. I just feel it's very relaxing and very calming. I would like clarity on the page of cups, please angels. What do we need to know about the Page of Cups? Well, thank you very much. Okay, so you got the Hanged Man, which is all about perspective, looking at things from a different angle. Hmm. So this new opportunity, maybe have a couple of bumpy, maybe it's a bumpy beginning, this new chapter, but this is divinely orchestrated. You are exactly where you need to be. There is something that needs to be learned in this new chapter. I feel like perspective. What else is there? All right, what else do we need to know for this week? So we're getting a new beginning, but it's fertile. It may, but just keep going with it, even though there may be some bumps in the at the beginning of it but it is divinely orchestrated it is totally working out for you you know you speak what you want into existence if you're having trouble just know that you can't master something when you just started and you know it's not always perfect in the beginning but over time as you learn to master whatever it is you are embarking upon you're going to become like the master of your trade and i feel like as you begin to start working more towards i feel like this is where you're going to be you're going to be more content and you're going to be like like reaping your rewards like drinking from this cup of delicious goodness however that looks like for you i just feel like it's going to be a little bit rocky at the start but new chapters is just an opportunity for us to grow and evolve by the way are you guys loving the beautiful pictures in this new deck oh my god this is by far my favorite deck. I haven't even seen all the cards yet, but I just am so excited. I just had to do a reading and, and use them for you guys. What else do we need to know? Oh, there it is. The Queen of Wands. This is the card that we, we finished on last week. This is such a beautiful card. The Queen is like nurturing, beautiful, calm, and gentle. And she's playing a harp, a life harp, through the trees it's like the music of um it's pure positive energy it's like maybe some of you are going to be getting some signs through songs some synchronicities that are going to help you in your new chapter um, it's like there's a lot of people rooting for you in this new chapter and i feel like you you are exactly where you need to be and i know a lot of you have been through hell and i know that you are out of your comfort zone right now and I feel like a lot of you just have to look at this from a different, things from a different perspective because everything is working out. The Queen of Wands, oh my goodness. All right, let me just pull one more card or maybe two or however many fall out out of this time. Oh, this is such a great week. My heart chakra is actually getting a little bit tight. So it's, I just feel like we just need to breathe with this time and just know that you know, new chapters are a beautiful time. They're an absolute beautiful time. And I just feel like you need to look at things from a different perspective. And I really think that this card here is kind of the card that you need to pay the most attention to. You know, what's going up on here doesn't reflect your reality unless you're looking up. So it's like, don't put these negative thoughts into your head, you know? 
just feel like that's the darkness. But you have these beautiful wings. So just know that if like contrast arises, just say I am where I am and it's okay. Everything is working out for me because it always is, even though we don't understand it initially. What do we need to know, angels? Clarity on six of swords, six of pentacles, nine of swords, eight of cups, eight of wands, ace of wands, page of cups, hanged man, and queen of wands. Gosh, there's a lot of cards today. Let's just get one more. Just one more and then that's it. Just kind of like keep pulling them just to get more clarity so I can tell a full picture. But in saying this, this is the new moon. So those new moon readings get a little bit more detailed attention. They're extra important, especially this one too. Okay, what else do we need to know? Is that it? Nope. Oh, there's two more cards. So the first one is, oh gosh, the five of pentacles. I feel like that's why the, um, I feel like that's why the hangman came. It's like, can you see all this abundance? It's like dangled in front of her and her head's down. It's like she's missed an opportunity or she needs to change her perspective because there is abundance around and she's like, not ready. I don't feel like she's ready for it yet. There's also a chameleon, but there's also, the, there's uh, um, a butterfly. Can you see like, there's a little beautiful butterfly here. All these plants are like, kind of like trying to give her a hug, like surround her, but she's like missed all of this opportunity up here, especially the one that's like dangled above her head. Then the other card that came out is the Queen of Cups. Oh my God. The Queen of Cups. Oh my goodness. It may be a slow race because we've got turtles here. It's not a race. That's the thing. It's not a race. You are running a marathon. You're not sprinting. So this new chapter is going to take time. It's going to take patience. It's going to take you paying particular attention to the thoughts that you think because they become the words that you speak and they become what manifests into your reality. I feel like this is where you are headed. This new chapter, you are headed for this greatness, but just know that as a turtle, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a slow process. But in saying that, everything is working out for you because can you see the turtle is kind of like her stepping stones, what she's stepping on, like to be able to walk in water. It's like you've been guided. There are synchronicities all around you helping you to navigate through this new chapter. And she's like got her hands out, like she's just like free, like this new chapter just feels free and liberating for her. Oh wow, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I feel like this is going to be a, a lot of work, but it's exactly what you want in the long run. So we're starting off. I can get this card. Remember this one here? It's like this new little growth. It's abundant. It's making you sending water to allow this little beautiful thing to grow. And as you continue and you master your mindset and you focus on exactly what you want um, and look at things from a place of love, you're gonna get there. So just take it easy this week and just know that everything is working out for you. And if you need to refine what you had set as your intentions in the new moon, then that is totally okay. Allow the universe to guide you, however that looks. Oh my gosh, my loves, incredible week. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Oh my goodness, this was kind of out of my comfort zone. I don't feel 100% confident with these cards. I feel like I'm gonna get there, but I wanted to push myself. And I have more love for these cards than all of the others. Well, my loves, as you can see, this is an absolute beautiful week. We just need to pay attention to our thoughts and not allow fear to dictate our mood, to do your self-love practices. Anything that raises your vibration, makes you feel amazing, that is exactly what you need to do more of. And just know that everything is working out for you. You need to pay particular attention to the thoughts that you're thinking because you can be like this hanged man and looking at things from the wrong perspective and in turn you are missing all of these opportunities around you. It's just like if you were to just look up there are so many possibilities and as you learn to master your mind and enjoy this new chapter and just keep saying I am where I am and it's okay, this little bubba here is going to blossom and to bloom and then you are going to become the Queen of Cups. 
surrounded by pure delicious goodness in tune with the universe having the beautiful stars to guide you your intuition your higher knowing will take you to where you need to you just need to surrender i feel like her arms is like surrender to the process and set yourself free anyways my love thank you so much for watching today's episode oh my goodness if you have made it this far please give this video a like subscribe if you haven't to join the beautiful mk love fam and hit that bell so you're notified every single time i upload a video if you don't press that button you may miss one of my episodes and then that would be terrible i just wanted to let you know at the time of this video going live i actually will not be replying to comments because i'm currently on holidays so this is on sunday i get back from holiday on monday afternoon so i'll respond to you on tuesday so it can be a little bit delayed but i will comment back to each and every one of you like i always do and I'm wishing you so much love and success for this new chapter. Please comment below and let me know what is this new chapter for you. I know a lot of you have kind of felt it happen um, in the last couple of weeks, but I'm so interested to see. Maybe it's changed course. I don't know. But what is this new chapter bringing for you? And please pay particular attention to your thoughts. Don't allow fear to stop this beautiful growth because that you're going to be taking detours detours okay because they teach us beautiful lessons you can't get it wrong that's the thing with the universe you can't get it wrong everything is a lesson but if you want to you know follow your heart's true desires tap into your intuition take your shoes off go for a walk earth your energy um yeah do your self-love practices and get out of mother nature drink lots of water to replenish your cells eat a high vibrational diet however that looks truly best for you. And yeah, I'm so excited. Anyways, my love, I will respond back to you on Tuesday. So please write back to me now and I will catch them up. And yeah, cause I'm having a little, I'm having four days off social media. So I've actually pre-filmed this um, so I can have it for you while I'm away. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Wednesday. All right, I love you so much. Goodbye.